What I'm going to do in this little video is uh, draw a layout using JMRI. Go from step one through to whatever step it is when we add signal lights to it. I was thinking originally of using my layout as an example, but it is really quite complicated and I'll need some more time to figure out how to do it on my own layout. So if you uh, know all about Panel Pro and layout diagrams and editor and all that sort of thing, then uh, probably go find yourself another YouTube to watch. But if you're kind of brand new to this JMRI and layout diagrams and all that sort of a thing, this might be helpful. So assuming that you have downloaded JMRI and installed it on your computer and you see that it will give you these two icons here this one is for your trains this one is for your layout your panel diagram double click First of all, check at it, preferences. I don't know what system you're using. There are all sorts of systems available here. I'm using Digitrax, so that's why that's there. And uh, <coughs> on my layout, I am using a connecting device connects my computer to the Digitrax system and I use this thing. It's old. Can't get it anymore. I bought it many years ago. Nowadays I think they call them PR2s or PR3s which are electronic connectors through a USB port on your computer to your uh, local net arrangement. So we're going to use a simulator which allows us to uh, play around, try things out, and that sort of a thing. So to do a panel. New panel. <coughs> Three editors. I don't use these two. I've uh, looked up instructions on how to use them <coughs> and I found this one is very simple. It allows me to uh, control my layout from the diagram on my computer. So we'll use that. There it comes. Did we do two? No, we've just got one. Okay. Let's maximize it. At the bottom here, it explains to you <coughs> how to add stuff etc etc and how to move it and whatnot so basically to add stuff shift left click to move right mouse button and to show what it's all about right click on it what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a simple oval with a siding track two turnouts we'll start with the turnouts so we go up here and you can see the turnouts <coughs> name right hand left hand y double cross over etc so we want to do a left hand turnout and it's going to be turn out go cap blocks turn out 1 left click hmm please enter turnout via the turnout table and try again <clears throat> well there you go but it put it on anyway no turnout set edit let's call it local net turn out one 
No, that's not going to work. Tell you what, let's get rid of that. Start over again. It said we needed to uh, put the turnouts in the table. Okay, let's do that. Go to Tools and Tables, Turnouts. Nothing there. <coughs> we're going to add. So we can go local net or we can go internal. Local net <coughs> would connect the turnout to our local net system on a real layout. Internal would not. It would be just for purposes of diagramming here on JMRI. So we might as well go there. And we'll add. <coughs> Click on add. System is local net. Okay. Hardware address. We just put one in here, and we will call our first turnout um, turnout one. See what happens. Okay. It put. <coughs> we just put one here. It added the L for local net and T for turnout one. We could call this whatever we wanted just to make it clearer turn out one and all the rest of this stuff I'll just leave it alone for now okay then there it changed it so we're going to add another one it's going to be turn out two Get out of there. We'll minimize this. <coughs> minimize this. Now, what happens if we add a left-hand turnout? What were the names? L T one. Would that work? Yeah, it worked. What would happen if we put turnout one? Would that work? It wouldn't. Okay. Well, I put something out there, but it's uh, it's uh, undefined, so we'll remove it. Yes, I'm very sure. So what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, an oval, another turnout, the main line, and siding. So we need another turnout over here somewhere. <coughs> it's going to be a right-hand turnout. And it's going to be LT2. It doesn't look quite right, does it? All we have to do is flip it, rotate it. So we right click and we rotate it and co uh, clockwise 180. like that. Okay, they're not really lined up all that well, are they? Right click and we'll <coughs> put them approximately. Now you can move these little red squares and I'm going to move this one. Left click on it, nothing happens. Right click on it and it moves up there. Right click up there like that. I'm going to move this one out a little bit. This one out a bit. Okay, now when you left click on the circle it turns it, throws it. Now we got to put some track so we go back up here and we go to track segment. If we were going to uh, put a, a branch line that was going to end nowhere, then we would click on anchor point and we would left click and that would be the end of that line. But we're going to be connecting tracks. 
So what we do is track segment and we're going to uh, go from here to here. So we put our cursor on there, shift, left click, drag until we see a cross and let go. Nothing happens. Try it again. Shift, left click. Turn green when you've got a good connection. It turns green. Same here. Left, shift, left click, drag, let go, straight. Okay, that's good. <coughs> we're going to put track around here. So we need more of these little red boxes. They are called anchor points. So we're going to put one out here. Shift left click. One out here. Shift left click. One down here. One down there. <coughs> and now we're going to put track segments. So we go back up to here to track segment and we're going to shift left click, drag, shift left click, drag, Not too neat and tidy. So let's even them out. Right click. We'll get it eventually. Well, there's a nice square track. How about putting some curves here? Right click. Change to circle. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cool? We'll fix it. Right click. Change to circle. Doesn't look quite right. Let's make it right. Right click. Flip angle. Okay. Right click, flip angle. Now we can uh, right click on this center of the arc and move it so that we get a nice smooth curve. Sometimes. At this point I would suggest you save it. So let's call it a name. Um, let's call this one a demo layout. We'll save it. Click, 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 click. That is just so cool. <coughs> I like playing with them all day long. Okay, that's it for now for this section, but I will be right back.